So we're going to be looking at how we're analyzing our line plots and how we're using the information to answer different questions and think about the data that's provided. So just a couple things to keep in mind is that when we create our line plots, the information is coming from these numbers. And then we are creating our number line based on the numbers. We need to make sure we have space for our smallest data point and our largest data point. And then we as the graph makers are constructing the number line and the pattern to put the data on. And then we place our X's. And it's important to remember that process because all of the numbers on this number line don't necessarily represent any data points. It's the X's that are representing each of the numbers placed onto the line plot. And so those X's are our data point and our information for us to analyze. The title is important. It gives you information. The key at the bottom identifying what these numbers on the number line represent are important. All of it working together is providing us with information. We're going to be talking about words like most and least and at least and fewest and all these different terms. We're going to be analyzing the smallest number of cousins in this case or the largest number of cousins in this case or we're going to be looking at which amount of cousins occurred the most. So all of these different types of questions and it's important for you to analyze the question and to answer it and then when you answer it go back and look does my answer match exactly what was being asked of me? Because there's not a lot of information in here it's sorting through what information is the question looking for.